help me welcome Deanne Moore. Dr. Deanne Moore. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, so you guys know my name now, Deanne Moore. And yes, I'm a doctor. Pray for me because I get nervous on the microphone. You guys know that. And sometimes things don't come out the way I want them to. And you guys always don't gently remind me, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to, um, to serve with you guys and to worship with you all. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, forgive me because I'm going to start to cry. You know, when I think about it, it's, it's amazing to me. Um, but, you know, when I hear other people's testimonies, it's a little bit overwhelming. You think, I don't have a story like that. You know, and is everybody going to think my story is amazing? Like, I think it's amazing. But I want to share with you guys um, just a little bit. So bear with me if I'm a little disorganized. Uh, I like to be prepared for things, and I don't feel prepared, and that makes me nervous and anxious. But, um, you know, it's a little bit silly when I think I can help God prepare me to do his work. You know, it sounds, <laughs> sounds crazy, but I do it all the time. Um, so... My name is Deanne. I'm from faraway land called New Jersey, <laughs> East Orange, New Jersey. Kind of was born in, in the hood. Um, so it's a testament to God's power um, that I'm a doctor. When I think about it, <laughs> I get nervous. And I really had to ask for forgiveness because I cringe a little bit when... Um, when you guys, when pastor, when you guys introduce me and you tell people that I'm a doctor, um, because I worry a lot about appearances and how that makes me look and assumptions that people make. And I've had bad experiences with that, but you know, none of it really matters because God is good and he did it. <laughs> and I shouldn't be ashamed of that or embarrassed or worry um, you know, that people are gonna think I'm, you know, I'm better or that I'm smarter or I have money or I come from money. And, you know, those things aren't true, but, you know, I should be more willing to share and proud of what God has done, not my accomplishment, because I feel like very little of it was me. Um, I just feel like I didn't give up, you know, and I trusted God, and I had a family who loved me and prayed for me and encouraged me and made me feel like I could do anything. You know, they, they, they let me have big dreams and big goals, and supported me even though they thought it was a little bit, you know, much to want to go to medical school. Um, you know, my father didn't even finish high school. And my mother, she, uh, she went back to college when I was in high school and finished. You know, so education was really important. You know, and I know many of you guys probably know coming from the hood, it just doesn't always look good. Your future, you know, is not always, oh, my child's going to be a doctor, but... Encourage your little ones, encourage them to get an education, read to them, if I can, you know, put that in there. But, um, you know, God has been with me every single step of the way, every day. Um, I didn't always do everything right. I wasn't always in church, although I grew up in church. Um, we went to church every Sunday, you know, from the time I can remember until probably when I left for college. Um, you know, I didn't have a church family, and for those four years, it was kind of touch and go, and, you know, lots of bumps in the roads, and I didn't give up on my dream, which was God-given, and I feel like it was God-given because there were many times when I wanted to quit, and when I questioned it, like, really, is this what you want me to do? Um, but me standing here is just, again, a witness to God's power and his will. I was accepted to medical school in 2008. And two weeks before I started, my father passed away. And it was devastating. Um, and you know, I went through the year. They told me I could take time off. I didn't really know what else to do. And I didn't really cope well. Um, so I stayed. And long story short, I, I needed to repeat an entire year of medical school which I know you guys have probably heard stories. It's, it's very grueling and painful, and it was miserable for me. Um, but again, God's grace got me through. And God uses everything. <laughs> he really does. 
if I hadn't repeated that year, I wouldn't have ended up um, in the same class as Alexis, pastor, and uh, Debbie's daughter. And we wouldn't have the relationship that we have now. They, they wouldn't, I feel like they wouldn't have loved me like they do, <laughs> you know? Um, it was um, the day, it was maybe after our graduation, Pastor and Debbie, we were at a friend's house. They actually told me about um, Trinity Christian Center, where I was a member of for three years before coming to Manhattan Grace. Um, and, you know, they may have shared the story about how um, they knew an uncle of mine who was a former pastor of Newark Tabernacle. And it's just God, God's hand in everything, on everything, on my life. Um, and it goes on and on and on. Um, like, I could tell you story after story after story. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys to, to be obedient. Um, you know, I know many of you guys are members here at Manhattan Grace, and you're blessed because of that. I know now, um, but for those of you who aren't, like, this is an amazing place to learn and to grow and where you'll be pointed towards God. You know, um, growing up in church, you often hear a lot of great sermons, great teachers, great music. Um, and, you know, even now, there's churches where you can go, there's lights, there's smoke, there's cameras, and all of those things are really nice. But I know that Manhattan Grace is a church where you'll be pointed towards God, um, most importantly, and to read your word, <laughs> which, um, you know, I've been doing a lot more. And um, God is really, he's just showing me things. And it's been... It's been beautiful, you know, it's been difficult and sometimes painful, but God always supplies, um, he always provides, and his grace is new every single morning. So I just wanna, you know, thank you guys and ask you to pray for me still because I'm not perfect. I struggle with a lot, um, but it's humbling not only to stand before you, um, but to do what I do, the gift that God has given me. I need him more and more every day. So I love you guys and thank you. So.